Dr. Kornfeld, my fertility doctor, came, high, <clears throat> came highly recommended. Her success rate was unequaled, except that doctor who was arrested for inseminating his own patients <laughs> with his own sperm. And you know those mothers wouldn't have pressed charges if he had had the good fortune to look like Brad Pitt. But it was his lot in life to look like, albeit with thick black hair, Larry Bud Melman. It's guys like him who are endowed with Olympian sperm. <clears throat> Their sperm is genetically encoded to succeed. It has evolved to compensate for looks. In other words, it knows it's only getting one chance. So it could bounce off a wall onto a woman's thigh, an army crawl its way to her vagina. Brad Pitt, on the other hand, doesn't even have to have sperm. <laughs> Dust could puff out, and he'd still do well. He could have a vagina. <laughs> Dr. Kornfeld came into the room with my folder. Your levels look great. You're very young reproductively. I liked her immediately. <laughs> she informed me of my options for donors, including specimens right there in her office. Patients who had become pregnant and didn't need them anymore left their extras in her care. It made sense that you couldn't return the stuff. <laughs> what with all the product tampering that goes on. <laughs> this sperm is appealing. It had a good track record. But I didn't like the fact that my child could be in the same school district with an unknown sibling. They could meet, fall in love, then find out the awful truth. You've watched Lifetime Channel. <laughs> I decided the California cryobank made the most sense. It wasn't far from my house. I could pick it up myself, bring it to Kornfeld's office, and save a few dollars. My mother might even start to warm to the idea of me inseminating if I told her I got a deal. <laughs> Dr. Kornfeld told me two things on my way out of her office that day. I'm not gay, but I jumped the fence for Ellen. and my worst nightmare would be sperm with a Kevin Bacon nose. <laughs> I said, too bad none of those places offered pictures. What she said next changed everything. Oh, there is a place in Georgia that's doing that now. They just sent me some literature. Cherubs came from behind clouds with harps and sang songs. What was impossible was now possible. The world was smiling on me, and the universe was saying, cheese. <laughs> I called the firm in Augusta, Georgia on my way home and requested their don donor list. A few days later, it, it arrived. Five pages of Mr. Wright's. Each candidate had a number and nine columns of description. Ethnic origin, hair color, eye color, skin tone, blood type, body type, occupation, and interests slash religion. A pound sign meant a photo was available. I scanned the list for pound signs. There was one, then another, and another. They all had straight hair. I wanted curly. <laughs> straight hair, straight hair. Straight thinning hair. What is going on? <laughs> then I saw it. A pound sign with brown curly hair, Blue eyes, fair skin, six foot one, 190 pounds, 
Occupation Electric Company. Not exactly an occupation. <laughs> but he could be an engineer. <laughs> or maybe he touched some bare wires <laughs> and has a nice desk job now. <laughs> then I noticed the interest slash religion column fishing, hunting, baseball, and the Church of God. I don't know about you, but I can't read the words Church of God without hearing it in a deep fire and brimstone voice, Church of God. I didn't want churchy sperm. <laughs> My lower self was rearing its head. It takes very little sometimes to send me into a downward spiral. This one went like this. I can't believe I have to ask someone for sperm, let alone pay for it. $275 a batch? Was it cheaper in college or what? <laughs> Practically tripping over the stuff. <laughs> now look at me calling out of state and begging for a picture. I'm pathetic. I was trying to experience a person based on a few facts written on a piece of paper. Who is donor blah, blah, blah without the distraction of a flirtatious comment or a crooked smile to animate his DNA? Hi, I'm calling about donor 9059. She said, well, let's see. I could hear her shuffling papers. I said, I have the list. It says he comes with a picture. I immediately had this fantasy of her saying, well, if you put it that way, they all come with a picture, don't they? <laughs> but that's not what she said. <laughs> what she said was, we're out of 90-59. I had never even considered the possibility of rejection. <laughs> Here I was, vulnerable, unsuspecting, and boom, a big fat no. She could have at least asked me if I was sitting down. There's none left, I said, in the pathetic Kubler-Ross first stage of grieving voice. <laughs> Yes, it's been discontinued. <laughs> I hurried into another stage of grieving, anger. Sounds to me like the old bait and switch. It's on your list and you're not getting any more? <laughs> that is correct. I was now in the final stage, acceptance. Surrender always puts me in touch with my higher self. Now I wanted to be nice to her. Did we not both suffer? <laughs> On some level, I guess I thought we were in the same boat. I didn't have any sperm. Now I saw that she was capable of running out too. <laughs> I said, I have a couple more circled that look interesting. I was on the rebound. Donors had become just interesting. I would probably never get so attached to another. What about 9276? No, we're out of that. How about 9620? Thinning hair, you must have a bucket of that. <laughs> I'm afraid we're out of that too. There wasn't a bit of regret in her voice. If you're out of everything, I ask, why bother to answer the phone? <laughs> Silence. Will that be all? I had a good feeling about one last donor. What about 8801? He was pre-med, English, Irish descent. She said, well, we don't have any left in the regular, but we have some in the blue line special. 
I flipped through my pages. Had I missed something in my desperation? I didn't see anything about a special. How could I tell my mother I'd missed the special? <laughs> What's the blue line special? She said, well, a regular specimen has about 50,000 spermazoa. The blue line has over 100,000. It is a bit more expensive, but you're getting twice the count. I knew from going to Starbucks that a double shot costs more. <laughs> I felt drained at this point. I needed to hang up. I didn't know how special the special really was, and no way was I pre prepared to say, no thanks, give me the cheap stuff. 